this is Rick Prokop at Piano Power Lessons. Today we're going to be looking at patterns, which is the second piece in the John Thompson book. And you can see the difference between the first piece, Music Land, which used half notes and whole notes, and now with patterns, John Thompson is introducing quarter notes to the mix. So before we get started, let's listen to how this sounds. Ready? One, two, three, four. is a pattern. We begin on C, we go up stepwise, two notes, to a third above the C, and then drop down a third. Then we do the same, a note higher, starting on the D. Stepwise up three notes, drop down a third back to the D, then we go up to the E, stepwise up to the G, which is a third, back down a third, and then we cadence or end on a D. And then the second phrase is exactly the same as the first phrase, but it ends on a C. So it's interesting what happens rhythmically in the left hand. As we play along, there's a four to one ratio between the right hand and the left hand. Now the left hand starts to move. Now the right hand stops and the left hand takes over brings us down to the next phrase and keeps moving. Now it's a two to one ratio. And the right hand's gonna come to an end again and the left hand speeds up and finishes and carries on the rhythm to the end. So let's look down at the keyboard and see how to play the right hand. All right, so what we're gonna do is take each measure by itself and just repeat it so you get comfortable with those particular fingers. So in your first measure you have C, D, E, C. And you notice I'm, I'm playing from my wrist. I'm coming down on each one of these notes and I get a nice fat sound. And my wrist stays nice and loose and eventually it'll get my fingers moving. That's the relationship, that's the secret relationship between the wrist and the fingers. When you're, when you're a beginner player, play from your wrist and eventually it'll get your fingers snapping up and down. Okay, and that's how you get a nice sound. Okay. Alright, so let's go back and just practice this a couple of times, C, D, E, C, with one, two, and three. Here we go, one, two, three, four, try it again. Make sure you get a nice sound and you're comfortable after your fingers play. Okay, now do the same thing with D, E, and F using two, three, and four. Let's try. Two, three, four. Just get a nice sound, nice big fat sound. It's not forced, but it's a nice sound. Okay, next we have three, four, five. And if you're a beginner, you might find it a little tricky to play your pinky, a little awkward because it's a shorter finger and it's on the end of your hand. So let's just play this pinky. Come down with your wrist and make sure, don't worry about moving it that much right now. That will come in time. But just take your wrist and drop it and get comfortable on that finger. 
All right, now we're gonna try three, four, five a couple of times. Here we go, two, three, four. And again. And one more time. See how I'm relaxed here on each point. And now let's finish that out to the D. Now we're gonna go one, two, three, off. And I get off with my fingers pointing down. I get off the piano. I remove myself from the piano. I take a breath from the piano by simply lifting my wrist and my fingers are just hanging there. All right, now we're gonna to go to the last two measures, which is three, four, five, three, and thumb. So I want you to practice that and going to the thumb and feeling comfortable. Let's try that together. Two, three, four, E, F, G, E, and C. Two, three, and off. And I'm hanging. Fingers are hanging. My, my whole hand is just hanging from my wrist. All right, the next thing we want to do is see if we can play this in time. So I have the metronome on 60. And let's try it out. One, two, three, four. from, let's say, the third measure, fourth measure, and then into the, new f the second phrase on the second line, you're on this D, two, three, and you float off, right, on the fourth beat, and then pick up and just drop. So it'll look like this. One, two, three, off, drop. So practice that. Because what happens if you're a beginner and you're, pl and you're playing this, you're on the first line, and now you're gonna take the hands off, you're gonna take your hands off the piano, and it's like, oh no, oh no, where do I go? Once you take your hands off the piano, it's frightening if you're a beginner. So, it's very simple just to go like this. Watch, just practice going to the scary part, which is the next line, three and off. And now just drop and just finish there. And just practice that to where there's no anxiety in doing that move. All right, let's try it a little faster. The metronome's on 84 now. One, two, three, four. Drop. Two, three, off. Well, how about we finish the lesson off by developing our reading skills? So we'll play a little game. I'll point to the notes, say the notes, and then we'll go back. I'll point to the notes, and then you say the notes. Then I'll do it again, and then you do it again, and we'll do it measure by measure. Are you ready? Here we go. C, D, E, C. You go. I go. C, D, E, C. Okay. Next one is D, E, F, D. You ready? Here I go. D, E, F, D. F, D, your turn. My turn. D, 
E, F, D. You go. Okay, good. Next five notes are E, F, G, E, D. Here I go. E, F, G, E, D. You go. All right, here I come. E, F, G, E, D. Your turn. And that's that line. All right, since the second line is the same as the first line, I'm going to make it a little harder. We're going to go two measures in length. Then these two measures in length. And then all four. Okay, you ready? Here I go. One, two, three, four. C, D, E, C, D, E, F, D. You go. Here I go. C, D, E, C, D, E, F, D. Okay, last two measures, E, F, G, E, C. Here I go. Two, three, four. E, F, G, E, C. Your turn. My turn. E, F, G, E, C. Your turn. Okay, and now we're going to try the whole line. I'll say it once. You can say it along with me and then try it on your own. Here we go. Two, three, four. C, D, E, C. D, E, F, D, E, F, G, E, C. Your turn. And that's good. Well, that's it for today, folks. Um, I encourage you, if you're just starting out in music or just starting to play the piano, have a look at Units 1, Units 2, and Units 3 at Piano Power Lessons. Unit 1 deals with all of the major scales. You learn to read them and write them up and down. So it's very easy to read music after that. You learn all the key signatures Unit two is, deals with intervals, the spaces between notes, being able to identify that this is a third, this is a fourth, this is a fifth. It's very helpful reading music. It's one thing if you're playing by ear, then you don't need any of that. You, you don't even need to know theory. You know, you listen to something and you play it, and hopefully you have the talent to do that. But if you're going to be reading music, you really need to learn this stuff. And then unit three uh, is based on uh, the scales that you've learned and the intervals that you've learned, and you learn all the different triads, like C major, C minor, C diminished, C augmented, and you write them down, and you see me write them down, and then you can recognize them when they show up in music. For instance, here's E, G, C, which is a C triad. But you wouldn't know that if you didn't know anything about scales or triads. So with that, I will see you next time, and um, hang in there, and hope you have a great day.